Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a review of a pen from the Italics brand. Now I've reviewed a couple of Italics pens over the last little while. Uh, the Chaplin's Tankard and the uh, Parsons Essential. Really liked both of them. Um, and today I'm reviewing another pen from the line. Uh, it is the Captain's Commission. Now this pen is uh, a little more on the uh, one of the sort of slightly higher priced uh, italics pens, but I think you get a lot of pen for it. Now, italics pens are primarily sold through Mr. Pen in the UK. I'll link that down below, uh, where Peter over there uh, provides a fantastic service uh, making or getting these pens made. They're made elsewhere, as the website suggests, sort of some of them in the east, um, and then selling them under the italics brand uh, and he, what makes these pens really interesting is not only you know sort of the interesting bodies and the you know the good craftsmanship that goes into them, but also the fact that Peter provides a fabulous service with the nibs. Now there are he grinds the nibs himself. So in himself they're generally sort of generic nibs uh, or Yovo nibs, uh, and he grinds them depending on what you request. Um, I'll go over that in a little bit more detail in just a second. Um, but this is a really interesting pen. Um, now it comes in the usual um, italics uh, packaging, so I'm not going to show that today. You can look at my other reviews if you want to see sort of what that looks like. It's just basically a little clamshell box. Very nice, very safe, very secure. No issues there whatsoever. This is a really nice pen. Um, I have it with a right foot medium italic oblique nib, uh, which I think is a really lovely nib. And as a left-handed writer, uh, I find these uh, left uh, right foot oblique nibs to be absolutely wonderful. So let's look at it in more detail. I'll show you the parts of the pen. I'll show you um, a couple of little bits and pieces, do a writing sample. We'll talk about some pros and cons uh, and then uh, talk about you know, the value of this pen uh, at its price point. So this is the Captain's Commission from Italics. Let's have a look at it. Okay, this is the Captain's Commission fountain pen from Italics. Really nice looking pen, I think. Simple, sort of relatively simple design. Um, let's just run over the basic sort of parts of the pen. The body is uh, made of piano lacquered brass, and then we've got chrome trim, nice sort of chrome cap, end caps, finials, all that sort of stuff, a little black uh, top of the cap there. A spring loaded clip, a springy clip. It's quite quite a good clip actually it's, there's a nice amount of tension on it it's not going to go anywhere if you put it in your pocket or anything like that um and it's also sort of a, a sort of a, got a nice profile to it um i actually think this pen in general has a really nice profile and shape the way it tapers from the top of the cap right down to the end of the pen i think is actually really quite nice it's also a substantial size pen and has substantial weight to it which of course that metal body will uh, allow Screws to cap, um, let's just see, just for the sake of the exercise, how many screws, you can see it's quite a few. So we've got one, two, three, about three and a quarter, I, so, I suppose, which, you know, is not too bad. It's certainly not a, a quick draw pen for short note taking, things like that. This is a pen that you write with, and I think it's a beautiful, beautiful pen for that. If we look at the uh, section here, we have a nice sort of taper and then flare at the end, which leads down to a number, a nice number six nib. I think to me that looks like a Yovo nib that has been uh, laser engraved there with the italics uh, logo, which is great. And then, as I said, this is a right foot, as you can see there, it tilts down to the right, right foot, uh, medium italic oblique nib. Great for left-handed writers. Uh, the left-handed oblique would be great for right-handed writers if you turn the pen a little bit. There's also a huge range of other nibs, which I will get to in just a second. So, um, it's not a huge section, but it is nice sort of size, and the pen does fit very nicely in the hand. It's long enough to use unposted, although it does post, but as you'll get to in, once again, in a second, it does make the pen a little bit back heavy. The branding on this pen is minimal. It is just uh, there on the, uh, as you already saw on the nib, but also there on uh, the uh, the cap, uh, the center band there, it says italics as well. And not much else. There's this lovely sort of engraved pattern uh, on the cap, which provides a nice texture, but also provides a nice sort of visual design element, which I quite like. This pen is gonna pick up fingerprints. It's sort of shiny and black and silver, but I think it's worth it. I think it's a really nice pen. So, what makes these pens interesting, other than you know the fact that you know they're nice looking pens, 
is the nib options available? I've mentioned this a couple of times now, but just so you're aware, for this particular pen, you can choose something like 27 or 28 different nib options. Um, so I'm gonna run through that now just very quickly. So standard non-italic nibs, you get extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. There's also a medium 18 karat non-italic uh, nib, but that will cost you a considerable amount more. Uh, oblique uh, non-italic nibs, uh, you get both left and right fine, left and right footed medium, left and right footed broad. Then you get the italic nibs. Now the italic has fine, medium, broad, and extra broad. And then you can get italic oblique nibs, fine left or right footed, medium left or right footed, broad left or right footed, extra broad left or right footed, and then there are the cursive nibs, fine, medium, broad, and extra broad. So that is a huge, huge range of nibs that you can get on this pen. I would be surprised if there is any other pen on the market right now, particularly at this sort of price point, where you could get anything close to that range of nibs. So really great job, Mr. Pen there in the UK. Peter does a fabulous job with that. The pen is a cartridge converter pen. It takes standard international cartridges and converters. Um, I have a, it comes with a Schmidt converter there. I have this inked with Pilot Orochizuku Konpeki, uh, which was chosen by some Instagram viewers for this pen review. Um, and yeah, it's just a really great pen. As I said, it's steel nib. They are, this is the Yovo Steel with the plain plastic feed there and everything. So you're not gonna get um, line variation or anything like that out of the nib, but you do get such a variety of nibs that that doesn't really matter. Let's look at the uh, size and weight of this pen now. So, capped, it is 145 millimeters. So not a small pen. Uncapped, it's 133, which as I said, makes it still absolutely big enough to use unposted uh, and posted it's 158 so it does post quite deeply um, but it's just a little bit back heavy the pen weighs 52 grams so not a light pen 27 of that is in the body and 25 of that is in the cap so when it is posted you are putting a considerable amount of weight on the back of the pen and that's not necessarily an issue. If you have really big hands or hold the pen further back, that weight is going to sit on the webbing of your hand. But for average size hands and people who hold the pen on the section where it's designed to be, it is a little bit back heavy. Now, I do want to address these um, threads and the step down. I always get asked these questions and they're things that I don't necessarily think about. So the threads are very smooth and the step down is minimal. You can feel it if you hold the pen further back. But for me, that's actually a nice point of grip. Um, and so with that little flare on the end, it actually sits nicely in there. So it's not an aggressive step down and the threads, as I said, are quite smooth. And that section is a really nice shape um, for extended writing period, uh, sessions. Um, size comparisons just while I'm here. If we have the Captain's Commission there, two pens I'm gonna compare it to, two absolutely standard pens. One is the Twisby Eco, which you can see is just ever so slightly shorter, and the Lamy Safari, which once again is a little bit shorter. That is the uh, capped length. If we just uncap them, because these are both pens that can you can write with uncapped, then between the Safari and the Captain's Commission, it's really not a huge amount of difference. So if you're comfortable with the size of a Lamy Safari, want something with a little bit more weight, this is a really good option for you. You can also see there that the sections are fairly similar in size, the middle of the section on the Captain's Commission being about 10 millimeters. Okay, let's do a writing sample now. I have some Rhodia paper uh, here, and uh, just a quick writing sample because uh, this is, a, a, as I said, a right foot uh, medium oblique nib. So we have the italics, Captain's Commission. This is a right foot oblique nib with a medium italic grind on it. So you can see there, you're getting some nice shape uh, from uh, the writing on this nib. 
Um, I do tend to roll my pen to the side a little bit and standard uh, italics nibs don't necessarily always work for me. Now, the ink here is Pilot, Hiroshizuku, Con, Pecky. So it's laying, so firstly, this is fairly smooth. You can hear a bit of feedback there. Not uncommon for sort of a stub nib, which is really is an italic nib. Um, so you get sort of good variation between the, the down strokes and the side strokes, which is what you want a nib like this for, for nice shape in the writing. Uh, and that little right oblique just allows me to turn, you can see there, just turn, if I write flat, you're not really getting a, a great line. As soon as I turn the pen slightly, you're getting a lovely smooth and quite a nice sort of wet line. It's got really good flow. Reverse writing is surprisingly doable but you've got to get the angle uh, right. And of course, you're not going to get line variation. It's a stiff nib, and uh, this grind really doesn't allow for line variation. Um, fast writing. You know, it keeps up pretty well. A couple of little sort of spots, but you know, that's also alignment on the page. So the nib and feed on this pen are really great. Excellent flow, excellent line, really just a joy to write with. Okay, before we get to the pros and cons, let's talk how much this pen actually costs. So the Italics Captain's Commission comes in from the UK at £55. Now it is available primarily through Mr. Pen, through the website, which as I said, I've linked below. You can also sometimes get these uh, italics pens on mass drop and things like that. The Parsons Essential comes up there occasionally. Um, but I think really the best way to get these pens is through Mr. Pen directly. So that 55 pounds is including VAT. So if you're outside of Europe, that comes down to, well, in Australia, uh, down to about 45 pounds. Um, so it's not the cheapest pen around, but with these nib options and with the build quality, it is a solid, sturdy pen. I think you're getting value for your money with this one. So let's talk pros and cons. Let's start with the cons. Firstly, the cap weighs a lot. So if you're going to post, uh, post it when you're writing, it is going to be slightly back heavy. Um, this design, this shape is not going to be for everyone, and neither is this sort of pattern on the cap. Um, it's not a subtle pen in a lot of ways, but I think it's classic enough and uh, almost in a way restrained enough that you could get away with using this for professional use. If you don't use this pen posted, this is a classy looking, very nice looking pen. Really for me, that's about it in terms of cons. I don't find many cons with this pen. I think it's a really, really nice pen. Okay, now let's talk pros. The section, I love the section on this pen. It's a nice width, it's got a great shape. My finger nestles nicely in there. Uh, and that is the same if you are a right-handed writer. Now I'm not, even, I'm not gonna do a right-handed writing sample with this pen because of the grind. Um, I'd end up sort of with that sort of scratchy, not making contact on the page unless I turn the nib. And even that, like drawing that across the page, very smooth, very nice. Um, but it is a nice section to hold. And also the size of this pen is a real, real pro because it's a good size, it's got good weight, it's nicely balanced down towards the front of the pen, uh, particularly if you don't post. Um, and so it allows for long writing sessions and with, a, with writing that looks uh, nice with this shape, why wouldn't you write long, for long sessions with it? Now the value of this pen is a pro. Even at 55 pounds, which is roughly about, a, gosh, around the 100 Australian dollar mark. I'm not exactly sure what that is in the US and other currencies, but it's a pretty good value pen. It certainly leagues above um, sort of standard starter pens in a lot of ways. The fact that it's a cartridge converter pen, you know, standard international, all of that, it sets it in a nice place. But what makes the value even better is the available nib options. Uh, with 27 different nibs available on the pen, uh, 26 of those, you know, not too expensive. Uh, the gold one, of course, adding price, uh, adding extra price to it, of course. Um, you know, you're getting good value. You're getting a pen that has, you know, nice nib options. And I can't really say much more about it. I really like this pen. I think it's an interesting pen. I love the italics pens. I think they're a fabulous option. If you're wanting something that's relatively affordable, that's not, you know, everything from sort of Lamy Safari price uh, right through to say some of the higher end 
uh, Twisby options, um, then I think this is these are really, really great. Um, smooth riders, well-tuned nibs, wet. What more could you possibly ask for? Okay, that was the, uh, the Captain's Commission from iItalics. Uh, it's a really nice pen. Uh, it writes really well, uh, and I think it's probably, um, you know, a pen that is well worth the money if if it's the sort of pen that you're interested in the sort of design of pen that uh, appeals to you it does to me i love black and chrome uh, so this pen really is a beautiful pen i think it writes really well and with that nib uh, service that peter provides over there you can it's a great way to try out nib grinds at a relatively affordable price you can also buy the nibs separately uh, and put them onto other pens i've bought a couple of these number six nibs and put them on um, jinhao pens for instance uh, just for that particular grind um, so you know try out the nibs check out mr pen in the uk i think it's his service is fabulous over there uh, and i hope you found this video on the captain's commission to be interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, all of that helps me uh, build up my subscriber base and all of that sort of stuff and, and um, helps me to provide more um, videos to you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me. Uh, you can also email me or comment on any of my videos here if you'd like to get in touch. Um, if there are products you think I should be looking at, things from your country or things that you particularly love, let me know. I'm really keen to find out what's happening around the place. Or if there's a way you'd like to support my channel, either through product sponsorship or any other way, uh, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.